Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Comment Comeback, a show where I go back to some of my older videos and pick apart some of the more interesting comments. This time I am going back to the furries video, one that's um, caused a little bit of controversy. Um, just look at the like the dislike bar. And to be honest, I thought I was pretty fair overall on that one. I wasn't exactly mean, but, you know, the title and everything is contentious to these people. So, let's just uh, get the ball rolling with the comments. Furries are truly people who make fursuits, and when w we're them, it makes us feel like we're not who we are, and that we can do anything. I wear fursuits because I get bullied, and when I put the suit on, it makes all the pain go away, and I just really feel like I can stand up f to m for me and others. Sorry, that's really difficult to read because there's absolutely no grammar in it, in it at all. And this is something I've seen quite a lot of, of saying I use the fursuits as a way to put everything put the real world behind me out the way and to sort of go into this other world where I don't have to worry about anything and to me that seems counterproductive ignoring problems in real life doesn't really get you anywhere if anything it makes it worse so I don't really see how you know it's constructive to just ignore the problems like when I see a problem I want to do something about it, I want to say something about it, but ignoring it just doesn't make sense to me. Get stuffed. I would, but I don't have a fursuit with stuffing in, so... Do you get it? That was funny, wasn't it? Okay, first of all, most of you like furries. Anything Disney, Pixar, etc. is chock full of furries. Anything that is an animal that has a human emotion or can freak and talk is a furry. So in other words, if you hate furries, you hate Mickey Mouse, Toothless from Outer Training Dragon, and you hate Winnie the Pooh. If you like Sonic, Yoshi, Angry Birds, Bugs Bunny, you like furries. I don't understand why you have to put down the furry community. They're just dressing up to make people happy and to showcase their craft craftsman's... God, I can't say if something... Craftsmanship. Some furries are even scientists, doctors, or lawyers. This proves that not every single freaking furry is an idiot, so shut up and go over there and eat some cheese. I'm pretty sure I never said that furries are idiots. And I, I saw this argument as well a couple of times, saying that if you like Disney movies or anything like that, that has the sort of um, humanized animal people, it, you like furries. But to me, that's there's a, there's a level. Like, you might like... Treasure Planet, say, and it's got the dog and cat people in it, but to me, I'm when I watch the movie, I'm just in that world, whatever, I, I accept what, what's going on in that, but then when the movie's over, I leave that world, and it's finished to me, like, I don't think about it anymore, I'm done, so, sort of attaching yourself to this whole furry idea, it goes beyond the media that represents it, it's sort of you get attached to it and it becomes more more than just a sort of pop culture reference and more part of your lifestyle and just having it in a movie or TV show or whatever is separate and away from your lifestyle as it were like so I find that argument very weak and irrelevant really because just because they're they're just characters in a uh, in a in a show or movie or whatever. I find it as being yourself. Sure, they may be weird, but that's just being part of a variety. Now, to me, there's there's like a level of sort of weirdness that is acceptable. Um, I guess that's just me. Everyone has a different level of acceptance to things they find strange. Furries are strange to me. I'm not going to lie about it. It's It's a weird concept to try and wrap your head around. I don't really have any problems with people that want to be a furry or whatever, but the fact that it's weird is um, saying that it's part of variety. Um, you can have like variety in your life without dressing up as an animal and going to conventions. Um, but I, I, it's, I, I, it's weird this one because I see what they're saying, but at the same time I'm, I think of other circumstances that are kind of similar but they it's got nothing to do with being a furry and the thing is it seems like these people are making excuses as to why they like something you if you are a furry 
fucking own it. You're a furry. Get over it. That's what I am. Well, I'm not, obviously, but... If I was, that's what I'd say, that's what I'd do. Why would I need to justify myself in this sort of way? Sure. Okay, maybe it is variety for you. Okay, whatever. It's... Just own it. Now, I found this one interesting because it was actually agreeing with me. Ah, fuck, I don't usually comment on these videos, but I figure why not. Yes, I'm a furry and I have fun, but I draw the line when it comes to the public. I'm not going to disagree with you at all. There seriously are some creepy people in the furry fandom. I'm the kind of furry that goes to conventions just to see friends that I haven't seen for over a year. Fair enough. And, of course, to get wasted. Yes, there is a bad side to the fandom, just like any other fandom. I thought furries were worse, but once I saw an anime, I was... Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, to, to acknowledge the fact that going out in public like this is weird is interesting to me, because if they're a furry and they're saying this... Um, it's not just something non-furries think then, I guess. Because it is quite strange. I just think of, like, um, football mascots and that sort of thing. That's all it makes me think of. And it, it is weird. Like, I used clips in the video of people running around pretending to be animals just in town with other just people walking around. And that is a strange thing. Again, though, this is a tough one because I want to say if you're into something, you just do whatever the hell you want. But then there's... Uh, there's like a realistic level of, of what you should consciously be actively doing to fulfill yourself and dressing up as an animal and walking around your local town doing animal things. I don't know, it just seems... This one's really weird for me. I, I don't really have a really strong argument either way. I'm a furry. What I have to ask about this is that you say it's not normal, right? What is normal really? Is there a certain measure for being normal that half the world has no clue about? Please, anyone out there tell me what is normal so that I can be it. Being a furry doesn't mean you're part of some kind of kooky religion that is out there to take over the world or something. Being a furry is similar to being an anime fan. Nothing wrong with it, or being whatever fan. Think of Trekkies, or whatever have you. Now, this is a pretty good point, really. I say it's not normal to be a furry, and then, but then, you know, everyone has that weird thing that they are or like or whatever, but then there's a, again, there's like a level of acceptance to me. Because the type of personality I am, I enjoy pop culture, movies, all this sort of thing. But once I've experienced it, that's it. I don't really attach myself to it and give my, and brand myself a name, like a furry or a brony or a Trekkie or whatever, because to me it's just, it's in another space of entertainment and I don't want to make my whole life revolve around that sort of thing. You're a little cartoon guy that represents you when you talk. That's pretty much the same idea as a fursona, yours is just less fluffy. He has a cartoon personification of yourself with a few of your characteristics mixed in, am I right? That is the truth, in a sense. But the difference is I don't go around town pretending to be a cartoon character with a suit on. It's just, it's literally just a representation of me for the sake of entertainment for a video. Like once it's, once I upload the video, that's it. I, it's gone from my, well it's not gone from my mind, but you know what I mean. It's out of my immediate, like, brain. Like it's not the thing I'm thinking about. Like, I don't feel like I'm a cartoon trapped in the body of a... A person, you know, like I don't think uh, some. I guess some furries think that, and some don't. But it's. I think it's completely different, and ultimately not very, uh, not very fair comparison to say that a cartoon character that I created and drew is like having a fursona because it's. I don't feel like it is my alternate reality sort of thing. Like I don't try and live like this weird cartoon. But I guess that's up to, for de debate. Yeah, that kind of just emphasizing on a small percentage of the fandom that's into that kind of thing. That's not really all there is to it, you dolt. See, I, I don't understand these people that go on these videos. And at the beginning of the video, I did have a like a really exaggerated example of like a, a furry video thing. Like a really extreme furry thing with this terrible music and weird animation and stuff. And in the video I say, like, I don't care really about fairies like I just said my opinion I said what they are very simple sort of thing to comprehend and this person just sort of went past that and I guess just watched the first 10 seconds and then just commented 
course it was some British guy. Man, opinion is opinion, we all differ, but on the lines of My Little Pony, I personally don't blah 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 blah. Uh, of course it was some British guy. Is it... what? What does that even mean? So because it... Bec they sort of expected it because I was British? Like they... So only the people who are British have like, opinions on things? What? I just noticed so they keep um, referring to... I think they're supposed to be bronies, but they put brownies. More than once as well, they put it like twice in there. Do they, do they not know that it's... Br un unless brownies is something to do with... No, it can't be. Because it says brownies tie in with knowing the show with its... Yeah, that's quite weird. I'm 12 and I'm a furry myself. Well, not yet waiting on my suit. But anyways, I'm kind of offended. I, I know it's sure opinion, but still, you can try to be a little nice about it. I thought I was pretty nice about it, all things considered. Like, you see a lot of videos about furries and stuff, and they're just mindless hate that don't show either side or reasoning for either side. So, again, is this someone who just went on the video, that just saw the title and... You know, I'm really thinking about just from now on, just changing the titles of things. Um, so, if it is something about, if it really is about something I hate, I'll call it I hate whatever. But if it's just about a subject, I'll put, like, the name of it and then just dash I-H-E. I guess that would make a bit more sense, but whatever. You hate furries, huh? Now tell me how many Disney movies did you watch when you were a kid? Yeah, I, was a f I watched quite a few Disney movies. And that's all they are to me, movies, as I said earlier. It's the same argument. It's a character in a movie. I don't want to be that character or be anything like those characters because it's a piece of fiction. No matter who you are or where you are, you can never get rid of furries. It's like saying get rid of the Jews, something that stay what they are. No matter how hard you try, there will always be people to hate on creativity. Now, saying we have sex is just stupid, okay, because we like to be a furry for the RP and freedom. And for those who think we do, why would we cause if you are suits hot? Why would you have sex in it? Also, you are not wanting to mess it up. Well, guys, get a grip. Furries will never die. It's not a trend. And in time, if you tried to like us, you might understand. This person must be extremely young or their brain doesn't work very well because there wasn't even one full stop in all six lines of that paragraph really difficult to read what they were saying I could barely tell that something about um, their furries are like Jews for some reason um, when obviously they're not and I I, it's not really hating on creativity I, no matter what I say it's not gonna stop people from drawing fur things because I, I don't care you can draw what, what draw whatever the hell you want like but I'm still gonna I'm still gonna call it an abomination or whatever but, who gives a shit what I say, right? Keep doing what you do. The absolute main problem here is that including the guy from I Hate Everything who wants to pull furries into the dirt, hate them and spread lies about them, sometime have seen a special see whatever. If you have a superficial knowledge about a particular subject about which you may want to report, then you should either acquire more knowledge and information or you shouldn't try it at all. And this applies to every subject, not only furries. So, whatever it says to go to a convention or something if you hate furries, but in, none of these things I said or did implied at all in the video. You want to put furries into the dirt, hate them and spread lies about them. I said at the beginning I'm only going to talk about some really specific and extreme examples. Oh god, that was, a, that was weird. Anyway, yeah, what lies did I spread about them? What hate did I spread about them? What dirt did I shove them into? I, I thought I, I was pretty fair overall in representing a lot of what it's about. I said at one point it's about creativity and that sort of thing, but people are people. And you see what they want to see. And if you don't give a shit, why make a video to comment? I suppose I can see why they'd, someone, would, someone would say this. But the thing is, I think the furry, the idea of furry is an interesting subject, and a lot of people wanted me to say my thoughts on it, and I'm not going to, to bullshit and just pretend and be an asshole and say that I hate them just to keep up with a, an, an alias on the fucking internet. It, that just makes, that's just stupid to me and attention seeking. I hate being branded as a hater or troll or whatever because a hater or a troll, in essence, is someone who has a very one-sided opinion and who will not listen to anyone else and 
is just a, a bigot, bigoted asshole who has no interest in any full world knowledge. But I want to actually have a point, you know? You want, I want to have a reason, an opinion that can be reasoned with, or at least understood, even if you don't agree with it. But obviously not. That's asking too much, I suppose, of the YouTube commenters and audience. But... Oh, well, I guess it serves me right for trying to do something different. I'm a furry. If you have a problem, go fuck a stick. What? Why did I even feature this one? There's nothing to even say about it. You hate everything, right? Well, you even hate yourself. I'm sick of that comment. Another one. Why did I... Why did I choose this one? I'm in a two-streak of just choosing stupid comments that don't mean anything. I'm sorry to be hating on your opinion, and I believe in the freedom of speech, but... Go to fucking hell! That's one of the... <laughs> You get these a lot, where it's people trying to be nice. They think they're being nice and calm, and but then they say, "I don't, I don't mean to be, I don't mean to be racist, but I hate Asian people." That's basically what they, you know. I think I made that comparison before, actually. But it's it's that sort of thing where they say, "I'm sorry, I don't want to be mean," but then they're mean. I've had friends in this fandom, and a couple of them were the most lost people ever. Yeah, they like stuff I wouldn't dream of, but how am I helping them by insulting them? This is, this brings up a good point, and I think I brought it up in the video itself, I said, what brings people to doing this? Is there a, like, is there an actual reason for it? And I think uh, some of it, obviously not all of it, is, is people being a bit lost, they don't know what to do because they're bullied or whatever, like we saw earlier, and that's sad, I guess. But I feel like being a furry, while it may help with being social or whatever, I don't think... It's really helping your, say, depression, or why you're being bullied, if anything. I don't want to say it makes it worse, but I guess it does make it worse, kind of. Because you're, you're going away from your problems and not trying to deal with them. Oh, I don't know. It's a bloody subject. I don't know what to say. Furries get raped and mutilated. Look, there's two sides, two sides to a coin. Um, you can be an asshole, and you can be really nice and support them, and this, this isn't really acceptable or appropriate, it's bad for everyone, so please don't do this sort of thing ever, even if it is something you don't like, it doesn't help, or it is constructive in any way to anyone, it's just terrible, don't do this. Furries are bullying me, make it stop, I didn't want to draw porn for you. I, I just want to know the story behind this, like, with no con no context at all, they, they just put this bloody comment. I just want to know the, the background, what, if this is a lie, if this is actually some sort of truth, if this person is actually being forced to draw furry porn. I can't, I can't even imagine a situation where you'd somehow be trapped with access to the internet and YouTube and be forced to draw that sort of thing. <laughs> Oh my lord, I just noticed how long this is running. Christ almighty. That was not intended. And and I still have loads more comments as well that I didn't even get round to. And there were more that I couldn't even be bothered to screenshot because there are so, so many on that one that could be featured. And this one wasn't like one of the funny, you know, like PewDiePie idiot ones or, you know, that sort of thing. The, most of it is sort of serious, interesting stuff. And yeah, I guess... This isn't like the Sonic one where I was just getting losing faith in humanity because uh, people just being so, so, so stupid. This is an actual topic that's interesting and, you know, I might even do another one of these because they are interesting or I might not. I'll just, I'll just leave it to it. I guess if people want it, I'll do it. But anyway, I think that's enough. Right, this is long enough. Nearly 20 minutes on one video. That's way too much IG for one day. So... Thanks for watching. This one, I would be really curious to know what you might have to say about the comments and the furry fandom and everything. It's really interesting to me, just how everyone reacts and treats and thinks about this, this really strange fandom. So, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.